Hello everyone, hi. Welcome to my dirty kitchen. I hate cleaning. Just looking at this mess makes me kind of frustrated at myself because I let this happen. But it was a long week. Now it's the weekend. It's time to clean. Have a fresh start. I'm not a neat freak. I was never a neat freak until I learned to appreciate the nice things I have so that they stay looking pretty. To me, it feels really nice just to walk into my apartment and everything looks clean and put together. But in reality, no one ever has a perfectly clean kitchen 24 seven. Sometimes life gets busy and it's hard to find time to clean. Slowly, I've been building a habit to keep my space in particular my kitchen, just cleaner. To me, a messy space leads to a cluttered mind. And when my space is clean, I feel more put together. Some days it's just good to slow down while doing a task that most people find unenjoyable, like cleaning to really be present in the moment and to just be with yourself. Sometimes I take these moments as a mini therapy session to my, with myself as a way to just think about things that I need to think about and talk them through with myself. Having a clean kitchen helps me have a more productive day. When the dishes are already clean, it's just quicker to make yourself a quick lunch instead of taking 20 extra minutes beforehand to clean a fork and a knife and the cutting board and the pot, your favorite pot. Instead, when your kitchen is already clean, your things are clean and they're just ready to use immediately. Also, another positive of keeping your kitchen continuously clean is that when you get that unexpected person who's going to come over and like, just unexpectedly, out of nowhere, and you just, your place isn't clean, you don't have to rush right now they clean everything before they come over because you're a put together person here are a few tips that i've been implementing into my life to help me keep my kitchen looking fresh and clean so number one when cooking, sometimes you happen to drop something on the floor or you're aiming for the trash can and you just miss. And it's just best to just stop whatever you're doing and just pick up what fell and throw it away or put it back into its spot instead of doing it later. I also really love turmeric and I like putting it in my meals, but I found this stuff really stains. So it's especially important to clean up any spills as you go. Don't let things sit on the countertop because then it's more likely to lead a stain, which is also a bigger headache for later. It's also best to just clean things as you go. For example, I use the blender. And after I was finished blending and I put the paste to cook, I took the time while all the food was cooking to clean the leftover dishes that were in the sink instead of just waiting for my food.
and rinse down your sink. It sounds very simple, but I think it really helps. It's really important, which is what I'm trying to do, to try to keep up with having, keeping your place clean. To make sure you do little things every day just clean the few dishes you used immediately sweep the floor really quickly at least every day just take about depending on how big your space is like 10 minutes to so just hurry up and like wipe down the kitchen so it looks nice and hopefully i will learn to keep my kitchen in my space just in general more clean continuously building that good habit so it goes into the long run and then hopefully you can do it too.